Hey guys, Nylon here with a Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatic obsidian generator. And yeah, first I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'm going to show you how I made it. So first off, this is the design right here. Um, it's two pools of water, or two source blocks leading into one point on each side. And so what happens is I place two redstone here, and there's water right next to it and behind here is a sticky piston so when I activate that lava will pour out and it's a bug in the game that when redstone or when lava goes over redstone and hits it with water next to it it turns into obsidian so then you can just take your pickaxe and mine it away and I'm on creative mode right now in the 1.3 snapshot and the reason I've made this tutorial is because now that they've introduced ender chests you're gonna need a lot of obsidian so yeah you might as well get uh, an obsidian generator rather than going down to get lava every single time. So yeah, you should probably make one of these before it gets patched. And yeah, now I'm going to show you how I made it. So I've opened up the design so I could show you guys how I made it. And so yeah, I'm going to show you how it's made. So first off, you're going to want to make a 4 by uh, 4 box like this. Just one tall and put two water source blocks and then it will travel two blocks and then you dig down a one one ditch so the water goes down and stops right there and you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side uh, as you did on this side and on this side I placed a lever uh, with redstone above it like this going all around the top of this leading into a sticky piston and that will lead into this block right here so that will be able to uh, move the lava or move the block so the lava can flow out so now the lava is able to uh, do that now yeah that's not supposed to be there right now uh, just to show you guys I didn't put these blocks here so what you're going to want to do is place these blocks here now before you let the lava out move these two obsidian and place the redstone back so now you have a fully automated design and you can see it works perfectly fine with those blocks there now you can just power that off and you're ready to mine your obsidian uh, I haven't done any of like over here in the other design I kinda put uh, half slabs around it just to make it look a little bit nicer and obsidian to show how the design uh, what it's making in there so you guys can design it however you want um, that's just the basic concept behind it I hope you guys, guys enjoyed this tutorial I uh, hope it's useful to you in the new Minecraft 1.3 uh, that hasn't been re released yet, but hopefully it will be released soon. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.